Good everyone, you're watching Great You Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Xbox app keep crashing or closing automatically in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, or what I would suggest you to do, is to open Xbox app settings. So, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, you may go ahead and click on apps and then click on installed apps. Under installed apps, you can look for Xbox by scrolling down at the same time you can type xbox in the search window once you have the results for xbox click on the three dotted lines on the right hand side of uh, this window and then click on advanced option once you are on the advanced option you will have to scroll down and choose the option which says terminate once this is done you may go ahead and click on repair so this will go ahead and repair your xbox app on your computer once the repair is complete the next thing what you could do is you can go ahead and click on reset now when you do a reset and when you launch the Xbox app on your computer, it might prompt you to enter your username and the password for your Xbox account. So please make sure that you have the username and password handy with you. Click on reset. Once the reset is complete, you may go ahead and close this window and then try to launch the Xbox app and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next method what I would suggest you to do do is to remove the gaming services and start the gaming services to do this step uh, you will have to open powershell so in the search window you may go ahead and type powershell once you have the best match for windows powershell you can do a right click on the powershell and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the powershell open on your computer you will have to copy the command from my video description and paste it here so to paste it you can do a right click on the taskbar at the top then click on edit and then click on paste or else you can use the command ctrl v to paste the command so click on it and hit enter once the command has been successfully executed once the uh, gaming services has been stopped the next command you will have to do is you will have to start use this command and type it in the powershell window so you can paste it directly by using a ctrl v shortcut and hit enter once this is done this will open the microsoft store to go ahead and install the gaming services and then once you have the gaming services prompt on the screen you will have to go ahead and click on get wait for the gaming service to be installed and in case if you get a user access control prompt you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen once the download for gaming services is completed you will get a prompt at the bottom right corner or uh, you would see this message that the uh, gaming services has been installed the get option will disappear on your screen once this is done you may go ahead and close this window window and also close the powershell window and then try to launch the xbox app on your computer and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem the next method i would suggest you to do is to go ahead and uh, download and install the windows update on your computer now to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on setting on the settings window you will see an option for windows update click on it and then in case if there are any any updates to be installed or if you have a prompt to restart your computer you may go ahead and click on restart at the same time uh, once updates are completed you may go back to the same settings and you will see an option which says check for the updates go ahead and check for the updates and in case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer you, you may go ahead and install those updates restart your computer try to open the xbox app and see if your issue has been resolved this should definitely fix the problem so in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day